can see the runway. Members of the 537th Airlift Squadron, partnered with the Air National Guard, are preparing for one of the many missions they take part in every week. This mission occurs every week to one of the 17 long-range radar sites throughout Alaska. Uh, for the long-range radar sites, which uh, are established throughout uh, Alaska and uh, due to their remote location, uh, they are basically inaccessible in the wintertime to uh, just about any type of vehicle except for an aircraft. And our mission is to go resupply those. I have time. We can bring anything that the radar site uh, needs. Uh, whether it be generators, um, food, clothing, uh, pretty much anything that they request, we can uh, put it on our aircraft and we can bring it out there for them. Most of the strips that we land on are not more than 3,000 feet uh, long and uh, it requires a relatively experienced pilot and uh, a dedicated crew to get that mission done. The sites are arranged strictly by a civilian workforce who rely solely on the Air Force to deliver their supplies. You know, if we, if we didn't have uh, this type of aircraft and this mission, uh, we couldn't get the equipment that we need, period. There's nothing else available, you know, for us. And, of course, this is for security of the nation, so. Uh, the radar sites provide uh, the very first uh, warning that we have of an impending enemy here in the uh, north. A mission that couldn't be accomplished without the support of the men and women from the 537th Airlift Squadron. Yeah, keep it up. Because Air Force Sergeant Michael Cowley. Yeah, we really appreciate that. Joint Base Hummendorf-Richardson, Alaska.